Alright guys, so welcome back to Gamer Today! Guys, planes are back in the game of Fortnite, but they're much different than you might remember. In some ways, they are the same thing. They do shoot, they fly, and they have a boost. It's what you might remember, right? But they do some very different things. And they also control drastically different. You can't do the barrel rolls anymore with them, which is a big disappointment, honestly. You can do a complete barrel roll, but it's not the same kind of barrel roll we used to do, and it's actually quite hard to do it now. Also, people can jump out of the planes and nothing happens to them. They essentially get a parachute, they can redeploy. This is a big problem, guys. It's going to be kind of annoying because most fights you get into with planes are going to result in basically jumping out of the plane, which is kind of a bummer. It takes away the whole dogfight aspect, which is kind of fun. Some people like the dogfighting, which the controls are kind of wonky now and the planes don't react to your movements like they used to, so it's not nearly as fun. And if you are moseying along in your plane and using that boost a lot, you're going to run out of fuel eventually. And what happens when you run out of fuel? You basically nosedive to the ground. Yeah, the propeller just turns off and there you go. It's kind of annoying. Now, guys, you can watch it fall all the way to the ground. I'm going to speed this up. But basically the idea is if you run out of fuel, just jump out of the plane, you have a redeployment, you can get wherever you need to go, almost across the entire map at that point. So there's no real loss. And if you do just basically go to the ground, you'll spring up like a balloon. So that's something to think about too. Now let's talk about the last similarity to the planes that we know. You can actually fit four passengers on this plane. That means your entire squad can be on the plane. And now it's more devastating than ever because they could all redeploy. This is going to make for some insane gameplay, guys. These planes are going to become OP, but in a totally different way. So yeah, guys, one thing we need to talk about. You can't damage structure. You can break a fence, you can break basically nothing though other than that. You can't break a tree down with it, you can't break a building. If you run into any of those things, you're going to bounce off like, you know, concrete. It's not going to do anything. Your plane's going to get damaged very slowly, I might add. It takes a while to actually destroy a plane. The planes have a lot of health, guys. A lot of health, and it takes a lot of damage to really destroy these planes. But well, that's everything you need to know about the planes. Now let's show you where you can actually get your own. The first one on the map is right here guys, it's next to Slurpy Swamp, you're going to find it right next to Weeping Woods and Slurpy Swamp, it's kind of hard to find, and we'll talk about that in a moment. That's the first one, nice and slow on the map for you. Anyways guys, so these outpost locations look like this, but each outpost location looks a little bit different. However, each outpost is going to have a little Christmas tree as well as this red camo thing going on, and then you'll see three planes. Next location, this is the absolute best outpost to go to. I'm going to show you why, you'll understand, but right here, it's kind of on the mountain, it's next to where basically Snowmando used to be. Yeah, you heard me, he moved. We're going to show you that at the end of this video as well. But let's go over here real quick. This place is the biggest outpost by far, and maybe the hardest to see because it's so big, but the red and like camo thing is not very easy to see. Now guys, there's something cool here. Do you see that snowman over there? We're going to show you that in a minute. Guys, there's a snowman out front, and that's why it's the best location. It's a little hard to find, so I'm just going to mark it right there one more time for you guys. But you can jump in the snowman. You can actually hide with him. You can actually use him as a shield and run away from people. Plus, the snowman makes me happy. Anyways guys, the next location is at Pleasant park right here this is the easiest one by far to find this one's pretty obvious and you guys might have come across this already it's right there on the map nice and easy now guys one thing we need to talk about though they don't load into the game all the time yeah you might play multiple games and not see any of these outposts actually load in that's a bit of a problem you're gonna have to keep unjoining and joining the lobby you can't do this in team rumble either you have to do this in solo or squads so that's a bit of a problem on its own right there all right guys now the fourth location this one's between steamy stacks and dirty dogs it's right here on the map actually kind of out of the way you might not have seen this one because you're not looking for it no one goes to these two locations come on now they're boring now the last location guys this one's between slurpy swamp and holy hedges this one's actually a little tricky to find a little hidden and out of the way it's right over here though and this is where you're going to find snowmando yeah he moved as i said so now if you guys want to get the big chill or the snowball launcher this is where you need to find him and someone obviously tried to find him and died doing that which is really bad how bad of a player do you have to be to die to snowmando come on he's a big teddy bear well big you know snowman now, guys, even though I made this video, you still might be having trouble finding these outposts. Why is that? They're not loading into the game of Fortnite currently. They are and they aren't. Some games you might find them, other games you will not. You might have to keep joining and unjoining games until you actually get all your challenge done. Unfortunately, that's the only way to fix it. Fortnite will obviously patch this eventually. It probably will take a day or two. They'll probably fix this issue. Or you might see something on Twitter about it like today from Fortnite. They're saying, oh, we know the issue. Okay, this video, we're going to get this video out there to everyone so that way it gets fixed faster. So make sure to like the video, guys, because that'll really help us. Anyways guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below, did this video help you, and if it did, let me know, I'm curious. Anyways guys, until next time, it's been Gamer Today.